Sam here from Sheridan Computers. So I've been asked quite a number of times how to uh, set up a PPPoE connection with MPFSense. Uh, now I'm actually doing one as we speak. So this is going to be a little bit different because it's a UK based video. And to connect to, let me try and explain what I mean. So bear with me because I've got paint, I've no internet connection. We have a PFSense box. PF. We should get a job as an artist. Uh, and we have our phone line. So how do I get my PFSS box that only has RJ45 connections connected to my phone line? Well, this is where your modem comes in. So we have a modem here. That goes straight into the modem. And from PFSense, we have an Ethernet cable that goes to the modem. We put our username, we put our password in here. And basically, the modem is configured in bridge mode to pass these details directly through. So we get a direct connection and we can use PFSense as our firewall. Um, so I'm using BT ADSL, which is why the modem is needed. Now, granted, sometimes if you're using uh, a BT lease line, for example, you won't need the modem. Um, but you won't need to use PPPoE either. Some providers, you know, you can just set static IP addresses. Uh, some providers require PPPoE and it's just over an RJ45 connection. So it depends completely on the scenario that you're trying to set up. This is what I'm trying to achieve to connect my PFSense box to a telephone line. So I'm going to walk through on how to do it. And this is basically following on from... The hardest part about doing this is configuring your modem in bridge mode uh, if you're connecting to a phone line. And this is following on from a video on how to set up a TP-Link TD8817 in bridge mode. I'll leave the link at the end to that. Um, I didn't want to include it in the video and have separated it because how you set up a modem um, in bridge mode varies from device to device. And I'm actually going to cover a couple of different devices that we use to do it. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to set up the uh, PPPoE connection. So let's go ahead and sign in. Uh, we have no internet connection at this stage. Um, you can ignore this. I have two WAN connections. I have a 4G one as well because my internet is crap at home. So to add the new connection, I'm going to go to interfaces and WAN. My uh, bridge modem is connected to my WAN interface. I'm going to go ahead and set the configuration type to PPPoE. This is pretty simple and straightforward to do. Uh, I knew it was going to be a quick video. That's I have been asked multiple times, but yeah, it is real easy to do. Set the MTU up, so 1492 uh, varies on your provider. Um, I'm using PPPoE, um, BT, so it's 1492. Um, stick your username and password in that you was provided to by your ISP. Uh, Service name, I want dial on demand, um, so you know, whenever internet's needed, it will dial out. Idle timeout, I'm going to set this to zero, because uh, I want my connection uh, online permanently. If you want it to disconnect from the internet after you know a certain amount of inactivity, you can set this here, the number of seconds that you want. Um, I want to block private networks, we'll block those as well save if I apply that so they've been applied um, because the dashboard Uh, and we have our IP address here for our, our external IP address, the gateway and that we can see. Um, should have an internet, let's go ahead and do that. See, my internet is very poor at home. If you want to send me some donations so I can upgrade my internet, feel free. It's just absolutely not possible. Uh, a couple of things to note. If you do need to make any changes, go into interfaces and assignments. Uh, PPPs, 
and you can edit this. Which is basically the uh, settings that we've just put in. There are a couple of options, uh, a few extra options you can mess with if you want to. I'm just going to kind of leave them as they are. Um, this loss of 5% is just, yeah, I've got a really bad connection. Um, the other thing that you might need to change is on the general setup. Uh, I have my DNS server set to 9999 and there is an option here that says allow DNS serverless to be overridden by DHCP PPP on the one. You want this unticked if you uh, want it to use your servers otherwise the uh, servers that are given to it by DHCP from your ISP will be used instead. That's pretty much all you need to configure to be honest. Um, just say I knew it was going to be a quick video it's really straightforward to do the hardest thing is getting the modem configured in bridge mode uh, if you like this video please uh, do hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you hit the notifications icon you'll receive notifications of any new videos as they are received if you do have any uh, technical questions please head across to our forums at forums.sheridan.co.uk and post them there do not post them on the uh, YouTube comments if you'd like to hire us head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk and click on the hire us button I hope this helps somebody um, I'll see you in the next video